What's going on, everybody? You know, one thing that's great is whenever I start recording these videos, if I mess up, I can just stop and start all over again. And I had a word misspelled on my screen and just caught it at the end of when I was recording <laughs> the first time. Craziness, I'll tell you. But we got a PSA um, back in. It is a regular service. It was mailed out on the 7th of February. They arrived it on 13 February, and it got entered into the system for PSA officially on the 26th of February. Just came in today. Um, got another one. It's moving. Should have maybe another one next week or the week after for sure for a reveal video as well. Uh, the other car, this I only had four in this order, CBC. If you guys check his channel out, he'll have his four uh, posting up sometime next week. So I'm going to get them out to the mail to him today, or tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, this week, uh, for videos, I just, uh, the reason why it's been a little bit more stagnant is I had some movers calling, they, they're picking up furniture from my uncle, uh, passed away early last year and to get the furniture out because it's antique and stuff like from the twenties and stuff, we had to watch for weather and, it, you know, being a straight shot out here and everything. And it originally was supposed to be put out coming here beginning of May. And they bumped it like a week and a half. So it's actually getting picked up tomorrow and it'll be here Monday, which is really good. So it kind of hindered a little bit with what I'm doing videos. But you guys will get a, the second part of the uh, grading approach. You're going to see the members only giveaway will be coming up here. And then I actually, there's another grading service that came out and they approached me on to it. I'm going to try to, our schedule's conflicted this weekend. I'm going to see if we can do like a maybe like a 30-minute Zoom to where he shows this intelligence that they're using to grade with, which is really, really interesting, guys, um, where nobody else has shown how this intelligence works that they're using. He has, and I'm going to try to get that Zoom and make sure I can record it and show you guys onto it uh, with it, at least what they're doing onto it. Uh, there's a lot of grading services coming out. And, you know, a lot of them approached me, but I really like this because they're being transparent onto their grading. Um, and also, we're going to get a couple cards graded from them. I'll mail those in. We'll use them as giveaways, too. Uh, I got three cards already. I got to get one more out. So that'll be coming out in the video as well, too. So lots of stuff going on. You guys also know BST Sports Cards launched his site. His site has auctions ended on Sunday, guys. So... Make sure you're checking it out. If you're a seller and everything, you might want to sign up and check it out because the fees are just your monthly subscription of like seven bucks or a month, I think, or something like that. I, I went for the longer term because it saved a couple bucks. But check that out. Give him some support as well, too. Buying, you don't have to pay for an account. You can just buy, make your account up. It's just sellers, the only thing on to it. But let's go into it. Oh, BST will be linked in the description, too. And I'll put those dates down there, too, in case I rattled them off and they went too quick. So the first two cards are two Joe Burrows. I won these. Um, I was going to say I won these because I don't know if you can really say Raz anymore or not without getting in trouble. But I won them. Um, my guess on all these cards that came back were pretty much to, well, actually were all to the T. There was one that could have went, well, a couple of these could have went either way, but I called it the lower end because, yeah, my luck's been bad. So Joe Burrow will be first. This is the Prism Rookie on to him. And these are all going to be available for sale with either my website, and I'm going to be moving stuff around again this weekend. My site, uh, My Slabs has stuff on it. And that link to my, my, the link to my, my Slabs page, there we go is on the web page or website as well too just click the my slabs link and or it'll say something like graded cards or something like that you click that it'll take you to what i have on there a lot of stuff's been going but this is the joe burrow there we go i mean this one here was one that was close that i i called either could be a nine or a ten and came back a nine surprisingly when i first saw the grades on this uh they were at 165 now they're at like 200 bucks so pretty crazy on price for a nine you guys should have the little cool thing coming up with the last sold average price type deal onto it something new i'm trying out let me know if you guys like that if not 
you know, I could always take it off as well, too. I'm trying to keep the sound effects of the cash register ching ching not on there because it's just, I just don't like it myself. All right, this one here is a green prism, uh, Joe Burrow rookie from prism. I think I said prism, yeah, green prism. And again, this one here I called being a nine. I thought if they gave this a 10, it was going to be very generous. And it came back a nine as well, too. Now, my thoughts, I still haven't figured this out, but some people have given me some uh, good pointers on to this. Right down onto these edges here, you're going to see some whiting, and I saw it down there originally. It was very minute, but I knew it was going to come back a nine. I figured it's Joe Burrow, you know, hey, at time for 50 bucks, and I think I won these both for something like, I don't know, like probably had two spots in it, so probably like 30 bucks or so. I couldn't really beat it because it had some profit written on to it. But um, these are going only for 220 220 Not much of an upstep from the regular prism, which is kind of shocking. It's usually greens are, I would expect it to be around 250 260 maybe 275 All right, up next, pulled this myself, Justin Jefferson. When I pulled this out of the pack, I said 10. 10 on to it because um, I looked it over really well. This being pulled by myself and stuff like that, I know there's not going to be a whole lot of surface. Well, I'm not going to slide and scratch the stuff onto it. So autograph looked good. I mean, I should have probably had the autograph graded too. The only reason I didn't because it takes longer because it's got to go to a separate department and then get graded as well too. So 10. Nothing's been sold. This is a pop one, surprisingly, um, onto it. And it's just only because I got it in before they probably shut down and people started grading them. Raws have been, I want to say, around 300 or 250 onto this. There was a 9.5. And I think that was like out of 100 or something sold. Now, I'm trying to really calm it. My best guess is around 600 onto this. Because it's definitely worth two times the price raw. And it's just trying to figure out the factors that go along with it. But pretty cool piece onto it. Finally, this has been my kryptonite, these prism cards. I'm going to tell you now. Last Herbert, I got an 8 on. This one here, I was calling 9 across the board on to it. No joke. I said it, it had a slim possibility of getting a 10 on to it, but I was happy, you know, just getting a 9 on to it. And the reason being, I'm trying to find where it went. Nope, it might have been... Uh, can't even see it now. There were some like faint lines you guys know that go across there, and I think it's right there and there. But I guess that's not what they were hitting. And I did talk to somebody that's uh, been trying to figure out what they're hitting at. But this is my Herbert. I was calling on. I said it had a faint possibility of ten. So, um, but it did get a ten. Pretty cool. Selling for around nine hundred. And everybody knows I don't use PWCC or Probstein ever to comp anything with because, yeah. Probstein last night messed this card up. They decided to put like 10 of them online and have them ending within like 20 seconds apart. And they averaged like 850 ish out. But and one sold afterwards right at the $900 mark. And that's where I'm keeping it at. And yes, I am going to sell this because you guys know I have autos and other stuff of him that I have more. I guess you could say more attached to than just the base card of it offhand. But just a lesson on to this. Um, I was going over with some guys that have been really heavy on trying to figure out what they're grading at. When I sent this in, this was one of the, probably one of the first few that I actually uh, used somebody's microscope before I bought mine. And um, with it, if you go along, if you could tell like the outline of this right here, it's got those indentions around him. You really got to look thoroughly into that for divots and markings onto it. It's very hard to see with just a basic magnifier. And I was in shock by it, to be honest, when he showed me this. And I put this under, and that's why I said it had a shot. It was slim, and they gave it to me. They might have felt bad for me this time because of some of my other grades. I don't know. But also look at these divots. There's like a double divot punch on some of them, too. And that's another thing that's been given it to them on the, these pieces here, 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 the six sides. But pretty cool overall. Uh, nothing here I'm going to really hold on to. Like I said, it'll either be on sale eventually. 
Um, but some of it will probably pop onto my slabs here tonight. Probably at least the two burrows onto it tonight. But other than that, everybody, um, have a good week weekend. I will get that one video out on the grading approach probably Sunday because it's going to take some time to get some of this stuff together. And I got to get a few things mailed out. Again, everybody, I do appreciate the support purchasing through the website or uh, if you're linking it from the website to my slabs or BST's website as well, too, looking for cards. Definitely, definitely appreciate it. Um, it helps me bring in uh, newer product, box openings and stuff like that there. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think that was it I said in the first video. Oh, if I didn't cover it, I will also be doing the monthly member, um, monthly paid membership to YouTube giveaway here. Uh, be on the lookout for that video as well, too. And as always, if I don't have your contact to verify your address, I'm going to need you to hit me up on to it. But I'll have to see how many people are on that offhand. I, I haven't really checked. Uh, I know we are creeping right around like 8, 10 people on to it. But again, I do appreciate the support for the channel so we can get more videos out to everybody. Lots of work for some better content videos than me just opening up boxes and stuff like that there. So I, I'm trying to bring... A little bit different stuff out, especially with a lot of people now that are coming out with different either tools, methods, or whatever it may be um, into the hobby itself. And I'm trying to hit this as both as either reselling or as a collector as well, too, because I, I do both. It's just a lot of times it's hard to separate it where I want to keep stuff. And I'm like, no, what are you doing? I have to you know, slap my hand around a little bit. The pug yells at me, you know, tells me, hey, you need to sell that so we can get some more cool stuff. And, you know, stuff like that there. But all right, everybody. That's pretty much me uh, jaw jacking here for the night. Take care. Have a good weekend out there. Stay safe as always. And I'll catch you guys next video.